Panaria Group is a leading manufacturer of a wide range of top-end floor and decorative ceramic tiles. The group's revolutionary new production facility at Fiorano Modenese, a major investment for the company, is where its large format extra-thin porcelain stoneware slabs are produced. This ceramic tile condenses all the top quality features of state-of-the-art porcelain stoneware in a thickness of just 3 mm. Tiles also come in innovative formats of up to 3 meters by 1. Designed with contemporary architecture requirements in mind, these extra-thin slabs are tougher than stone, lighter than aluminium, yet more flexible and workable than traditional ceramic, which means they're ideal for a whole range of interior decor uses or to clad those special awkward surfaces. The plant's strict quality control systems and attentive customer service have earned it the prestigious industrial certification UNIEN ISO 9001. And thanks to its far-reaching environmental safeguard policy, backed by substantive investments to minimize its environmental footprint, the plant and its processes have also been awarded the equally prestigious UNIEN ISO 14001 and EMAS certifications. The first step in the manufacture of thin ceramic slabs is the reception and storage of incoming raw materials. The basic ingredients that go into a finished tile are clays, sands and feldspars. These are routed to separate storage silos in a covered area of the factory. Before being accepted, however, all raw material consignments undergo rigorous quality checks to ensure they comply with the company's specified standards. When the time comes for their use, each raw material making up the required mix is checked for quality and consistency by an automatic computerized weighing and dispensing system that will deliver the exact amount of each ingredient. The weighing and dispensing system conveys the required raw materials to the grinding bay. Here they are fed into what's known as a continuous mill. Water and pebbles are added to the mix. The pebbles will help grind up the ingredients as the mill turns. The resultant mixture will be a very fine paste with some 30% moisture content known in the industry as slip. The liquid suspension is forced at high pressure into a drying chamber where it is dispersed as a fine spray. The resultant dry powder is known as atomized dust. This fine-grained dust is now the ideal consistency for the subsequent production steps, allowing the material to move smoothly through the next phases. From the drying chamber, the dust is taken by conveyor belts to storage silos until needed on the tile production line. The atomized dust now with a moisture level of around 5%, is loaded into a hopper, passed through a sieve to remove any impurities, and then delivered to dispensers at the beginning of the production line. There are two dispensers at the head of the line, since some products will require additional materials at this stage to give the tile surface a special effect. This will provide a first surface decoration. The pressing phase is a key moment in the tile making process. The main element is the hydraulic press and its control unit. The press is made of sheet steel and can exert pressures of up to 15,000 tons. It is the only press in the whole world able to make three by one meter ceramic slabs. The press has a matrix on the upper part and a conveyor belt below. The conveyor belt carrying the dust mix is pushed upwards during the compaction or pressing phase by a rectangular piston. During pressing, most of the air contained between the granules of the dust mix is expelled. The result is a smaller, highly compacted tile body. This pressing technique is state-of-the-art. Traditional dust pressing technology uses a ram to compact dust contained in a mold or dye. The new pressing method does away with the dye and so avoids most of the stresses caused by lateral thrust against the sides of the retaining dye. On leaving the press, the compacted slabs have rough, jagged edges. 
special burrs at the trimming station will even off the tile edges. The conveyor belt carrying the slabs now enters a gas-fired drying chamber. Special jets evenly distribute hot air above and below the ceramic slabs as they pass through the drying chamber on special rollers. On exit, the tiling slabs will have a residual humidity of 0.5%. The production line employs latest generation decoration equipment. Seven silk screen rotor color printers apply background dyes, a range of graphic designs and protective surface glazes. These are combined with an innovative digital inkjet printer with six printhead bars. Each bar can carry a different color pigment, meaning that up to six colors can be applied. The inkjet printer operates like a plotter, making repeated passes over the slab as required. This digital decoration technique ensures high-resolution patterns or pictures. There's no limit to the graphic designs possible. The line also caters for smaller formats. Thin ceramic slabs are fired in natural gas kilns with special gas burners. The slabs are baked for around 35 minutes at extremely high temperatures, peaking at 1,210 degrees centigrade. The firing and cooling process boasts another important feature. As well as enabling the production of large-sized, thin ceramic slabs, it is also a much more environment-friendly production process consuming less energy and releasing fewer pollutants and less CO2 into the atmosphere. After firing, the cooling phase requires great care to ensure the finished slabs will be perfectly flat, exactly the right size and with no internal stresses. At the kiln exit, an automatic sorting machine makes a first selection of the fired slabs. This exit check is essential for the subsequent processing phases, an indispensable in-process quality check that contributes to overall product excellence. The fired ceramic slabs are automatically removed and stacked on special racks. The loaded racks are then transported by laser-guided vehicles, LGVs, to their allocated place in the warehouse they will be retrieved for finishing as per customer orders. Whatever their size, slabs can be made available as simple 3mm thick tiles for wall cladding requirements or in the 3.5mm thick plus version ideal for flooring applications. The plus version requires a special gluing production line. Here, a fiberglass underlayer is glued to the bottom of the slab. This backing considerably improves the tile's mechanical strength and affords excellent bending and shock resistance. The gluing line comprises an electric multi-tier vertical drying chamber ensuring constant temperature throughout the gluing process, a glue spraying station where the conveyor belt receives a protective paper covering supplied by a paper feed roll, a mesh applicator that unrolls and applies the fiberglass backing, A glue applicator robot programmed to apply glue over the whole slab surface right to the outer edges of the tile.
an electric multi-tier vertical drying chamber to accelerate glue drying. The tile cutting line handles all slab types with or without the fiberglass backing. On exiting the firing kiln, the ceramic slab is 3070 by 1040 millimeters in size. It is now snap cut to the exact format size of 3000 by 1000 millimeters or smaller. For simplicity's sake, the cutting line comprises a computerized digital control grinding machine. This is used exclusively for slabs with fiberglass backing. The slabs are loaded upside down, the underlayer uppermost. The grinder then trims the fiberglass backing to align exactly with what will be the finished tile edge. An automatic slab turning device. This machine only engages if the line is processing fiberglass back slabs. A computerized digital control scoring machine for the top side of the slab. The machine scores the tile along the cutting line that will give the exact finished slab size. A snap cutter. Separator rollers exert pressure along the incision previously cut into the tile surface, causing a sharp, clean break. An edge smoother. Here the slab edges are smoothed to remove the sharp blade-like edges left after snap cutting. A slab loader. The slabs, now cut and smooth edged, are loaded onto racks and taken by LGVs to the subsequent sorting line. All cutting operations are performed by automatic digital control machines. However, tiles undergo a further quality check by automatic sizing machines when they reach the final selection line. A last visual inspection of each tile surface is also made by expert operators before slabs pass to the packing and dispatch bays. Packing operations are automated. A mechanical arm loads the packed boxes onto pallets which are then conveyed by LGVs to the warehouse. With its latest investment in top-end technology, Panaria Group confirms its commitment to its mission of excellence, research and innovation, with the aim of developing new product lines and forward-thinking solutions to meet ever more demanding customer expectations. Thirty years' experience and the know-how of top ceramic specialists allow Panaria Group to keep ahead of the field, a leader in the manufacture of unbeatable tiles. The company is passionately committed to maintaining its market leadership and asserting Italian-style excellence in luxury ceramic tiles 